Hello and welcome. This is Christy Haig with a tutorial for you from digitalscrapbookingclasses.com. The next tool in this series that we're going to look at is the eyedropper tool. That's this tool right here, the fourth one on the toolbar. The eyedropper tool will simply select a color. So I'm going to take the eyedropper tool, click on it, and pay attention here to the color that's selected. Currently I have white selected. When I click here on the layout, it will select the blue. When I click here, it will select the uh, rose color. I can click the white from the tub. I can click the light blue from the strip. So that's basically all that the eye tool, eyedrop tool um, does. The one option that you have is the point sample or 3x3 three three or 5x5 five five average. Point sample is what you're going to want to use most often. That's simply whatever exact point of the layout you click on, it will pick that. Um, now pay attention because the clicking is actually happening happening at the very tip of the eyedrop tool. So wherever the very tip of the eyedrop tool is. So for example, you'll notice I hover the tip right over the yellow. When I click on it, it will pick the yellow. So the point sample does exactly um, that one point. The 3x5, 3x3 and 5x5 average are going to be um, taking three pixels by three pixels around where you're pointing or five pixels by five pixels around where you're pointing. Now a pixel is a very, very small thing, so you don't have to worry um, about it pulling in too much of an area. But for example, this uh, blue paper has some darker blue and some lighter blue in it. And if I were to use the point sample and I clicked and I dragged, my I'm holding my mouse down, you'll notice here that the color changes from the darker to the lighter to the darker to the lighter as I kind of go along. What I can do with the average is I can click on it and it will pick for me, no matter where I click, it's about the same color because it's averaging the colors that are right around where I'm clicking. But like I said before, most often you'll probably want to use point sample. Uh, layout credits for this layout. Uh, it's using the kit Under the Sea by RK Designs, a word art, art, word art pack by Inspire Designs, a template by Mandy Nichols, and the font is Sil J by Darcy Baldwin. For more tutorials and classes in digital scrapbooking, head over to digitalscrapbookingclasses.com. Have fun and keep scrapping memories.